Hey guys, welcome to CGI Nerd. I'm Alejandro, the CGI Nerd. I am going to be talking about for loops today. And with the for loops, basically what we're going to be doing is kind of getting information from selections and being able to do things with multiple items without knowing exactly how many times we needed to loop through an object. Um, we are going to be doing this in Maya and using Python. Okay, so let's take a look at doing that right now. Um, let's just look at... Okay, so oops, let's take sorry a about that. Look at no, you shouldn't have an echo. I was just opening up the stream so that we can see. But, um, so I can see the comments, but... Let's import maya.cmds as mc. And let's grab a selection. So, <clears throat> actually, let's do a for loop first. Um, for uh, num in range five. So range five is just range five. It should be a function that is just giving us a um, arrange a kind of number of um, an array. Let's see if this works. Print test. Uh, oh, sorry. It has to be a string. There we go. So it prints test. We can print whatever num is. And run this again. Oops. We're just putting the string num. This time let's put the variable num. And not all capitals because it is case sensitive. There you go. So basically range 5 just creates a list of items uh, 0 through 5. So that way we can see um that it does it so when you go into the for loop it goes through this list right here and it um does the command once for each object in the list so once we have a range like this done we can <coughs> excuse me sorry we can try to do that with a selection so Let's say that we have a few items like this inside of a selection. I can make them into a list. So let's create a variable for it. Self for selection. And we're going to say equals high skills mesh entertainment. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> um, Maya has functions like um, where you can list a set of objects based off parameters. And we're going to do um, SL, which is selection, and equals true. So... Now what we can do, instead of range 5, we can make the variable cell. And I'm just going to change this to item. So this variable now is each item inside of the selection. So now when we look at this, we should see it print the names of each item that is in the selection. So let's test that out. Um, ls is a Maya command, so we have to do mc.ls. So let's try running that. There we go. So when we print that, we have all the different items printed. 
in the list. We're not doing anything with them yet, but we can see that we've accessed each one of the names of the objects um, through the selection, which is pretty cool. Um, so anytime we have a list of items, we can um, put that list here, and we can affect it by um, creating a variable for each item in the list, and it will loop and iterate through that whole list. So let's say we wanted to reposition this. So let's say we wanted to space them each five units apart. So we can do that. We can say um, here mc dot set adder uh, item plus. And late x Get a little bit more space. Comma equals. Um, let's create a variable. Say that variable is x and equals zero. So we can make it here where we say x. times five. So that way, each time we go through the object, it will multiply x times five. And then we'll just say um, x equals x times five. Let's see what error is giving us right here. Okay, it's giving us a name for the attribute um, error right here. It's because we missed a dot. So it's the item's name dot translate x. So let's try this again. Okay, no errors that time, but it did not move anything. Here, uh, instead of times 5, sorry, that was my mistake, because it's always going to end up being 0. If we multiply it by 5, we want it to be plus 5. Let's do that, and there we go. I think I might have read it twice on accident. Let's undo. Oh, I want not to plus by 5, plus by 1. That way it's only... There, that's what I want. That way, each time it only increments by 5. If I multiply it by 5, that would be 25 units or so. So, now we have the objects spaced together. Um, if we undo this, we can see that they were all grouped together there. Once we run this code, it spaces them all apart using this for loop to be able to create the um, spacing for each one of these objects. So that's kind of one simple example of using a for loop. Um, there's a ton of other things that we can do with for loops and combine them with other commands, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to for loops with selections because they're pretty powerful here inside of Maya to be able to get the um, selection of items in the scene and do something with each one of those items in the selection. Uh, Alright, so I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching the CGI Nerd. Bye!